Hey everyone, Richard here from Carl Sound Security. This is going to be a little tutorial on how to use your Ghost 2 Immobilizer on your Range Rover from 2017 onwards. So it will pretty much apply to any Range Rover that's 2017 and onwards. Um, so the first thing you'll see that when you try and start your vehicle, it will not start. So when you get in your car, do not press the brake. So all you do is just press the start button only. So get in. Press the start button. That's it. Wait a few seconds and then you enter your code, which is whatever you have it set to. We got it set as a demo button at the moment. So one, two, three, four. You get two flashes and now you can start your vehicle. Okay, okay. so now I'm going to show you how to change your code. So what you do is do not press the brake, just press the start button only. And you get your ignition come up and now you enter your current code which is one two three four it will be whatever code you set it to you get the two flashes and now what you want to do is do not start the engine you want to hold your high beams so this is your high beams you pull this towards you so like this so you pull it towards you you can see your high beams are flash so while holding it now you need to enter your code again so your pin code so i'm going to do that now i'm just going to set this down one two three four and now what's going to happen is it's going to keep flashing on the dash as you can see there and you can let go of the high beams and now when it's flashing on the dash it means you can now put your new code in so when you put your new code in you need to do it straight away so you need to do one two three four uh, but you cannot do like one two and you wait it's too late. You, you need to do it straight away. So you have to do press one button, then the next one, then the next one, then the next one. You have to change, change it straight away. Um, so once you now set your code, I'm going to set to the same one again. So one, two, three, four. And once you're done, it will flash four times. Uh, sorry, three times. And now you re-enter it again. One, two, three, four and now it will flash two times that means the code has been changed if it flashes four times it means you enter the code wrong the second time so you need to yeah that just lets you know if it flashes two times that means um it's just you reset the code to the same one so um when you change your code if it flashes four times that means the code is wrong when you enter the second time and you need to re-enter it all over again so you got to turn everything off and redo all the steps again from the beginning and once you changed it you that will be a new code and you can use that to start the vehicle ignition on one two three four and there you go now you can start the car Okay, so the next one you're going to do is for service, which is called the service button. Uh, this applies to range rovers only. So when the button is pressed uh, a certain number of times, it will turn the system off temporary. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So what you do is put the ignition on. Then put your code in. One, two, three, four. Wait for the flash. But do not turn the engine on. Now what you want to do is you want to press the cancel button five times. So one, two, three, four, five. Now when you flash it five, press it five times, you get five press uh, five flashes on the dash, and now the system is turned off. Car starts. Turn it off. Turn it on again. The car starts. So no code needed. This is uh, this is used for garage use only or valet. Um, you want to do this when you get to the garage or the valet area. Do not enter. Don't do not put the ghost to into service mode before you get to your uh, area of service or valet. Because what will happen? The ghost system will reactivate if you drive at thirty miles or thirty miles or more um, after ten minutes. So when you stop the vehicle next time. You will have to enter the code it's only meant for a very small area driving and not meant to be driven at a constant speed at about 30 miles an hour 
Okay, so when you get your vehicle back to take it out of service mode, what you do is you press the start button. And now you enter your code as normal. So one, two, three, four. Right, now the service mode is turned off and the system is back to normal on how it used to be. So if I turn it off now and try turning it on again, as you can see, the car will not start. So the system is back on again. So that's how to take it out of service mode.